It didn't take long after starting work here at Brookside before I realized how Kenosha County really treasured and loved Brookside Care Center. It became very obvious to me immediately that the employees of Brookside were an elite group and they were highly valued and respected for the important work they do. And it was equally obvious to me that this nursing home was considered an asset to Kenosha County, not a liability. Our county executive, Jim Cruiser, deserves the credit for that. Jim Cruiser is a big thinker, a man with vision and a man with conviction. The reason that this project went from an idea to a reality is because of my boss, the county executive, Jim Cruiser. County, and I have to say today, this is the greatest thing happening in Kenosha County. I, you know, all of us know so many people who have been here, uh, past and present, patients, and the smiles on their face, and the twinkle in their eye, and I just want to say, I think it's been a pleasure to serve the Kenosha community for 100 years. And here's the patient. The slogan is, it's the people that make a difference in Kenosha County when we talk about our employees. And it's true. But it's never so true than when they're in the field of nursing care and health care. And I have to tell you, um, it touches my heart every time I walk through here and see our employees. And I want to say thank you to all the past employees and all the current employees. Wave your hands and let us see you. Thank you. <laughs> what makes our nursing home special? And uh, there's not one person in this room that doesn't have a family member, or didn't have a family member, or someone they love in this institution. But we stand here today because we're on the shoulders of people before me that had vision. And I will tell you that there were county board chairs like Ed Kubicki, who this became his priority to get this done in his tenure. I want to thank Ed Kubicki and Kim Bruning, the vice chair, for pushing this so hard. And also When you go back into the years and you think of the Jim Funks and the Gene Bellatis and uh, a number of the other chairs, and then the county executive who 20 years ago, John Collins, where are you? Stand up, John Collins. <laughs> While other county executives are selling nursing homes, you said we can do it. Yeah. You worked with the employees, it wasn't always easy. But you got it done, and that's why we're here today. We have former supervisors here. I would like all the former supervisors to stand up if you're ever on the county board. Stand up. <laughs> now I want the current county board members to stand up with them. like this doesn't happen without a lot of people involved. And a lot of people pulling together who believed in nursing home, people who haven't been on the board in quite a while, it's touched their hearts so much they wanted to come back because they know what a great project this is for the community. I have to say that uh, I have to give a special thanks to Bob Pitts, chairman of the Brookside Board of Trustees, Bob's father, Francis Pitts, I had the opportunity to know who is also a strong supporter of Brookside, chairman of the board, and uh, um, I think that spirit was moving this along all the way. Um, so as we move forward, uh, this project started eight years ago. 
Um, you needed political support from a lot of areas. I see my friend Sheriff Dave Beth there and Joel and Storrs that run for registered deeds and uh, the county board members here and all fronts. And what should we do? What's going on? And we talked about Brookside. And uh, Kathy Million, are you around here? I remember those discussions, Kathy. How you doing? <laughs> Kathy Million and I she had some plain English talks about where she wanted things to go. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I took a lot of that to heart. We met with employees, and I told them that the vision was to turn it around fiscally. In 2006, Brookside Care Center received $2.4 million in county levy. Today, it's zero and has been for the past number of years. And that's how the project's going to be paid for over the length of the bond. It's because we changed things. Change was hard for a lot of employees. We worked with employees and things changed and we had to automate, we had to document every minute so we got every bit of reimbursable money we could and that's what turned the fiscal picture around. And then we tore down the old building. And then we planned for the new building. In 2012, we started drawing. We threw those away and drew them again. Then Fran looked at them, we drew them again. <laughs> None of that would have happened. None of that would have happened if we didn't have support from the state of our public nursing homes. We have our state, legislat le state legislative delegation here. We have Senator Van Wangard, Democratic leader Peter Barca. Stand up, all of you. Stand up. They fight hammer and claw to make sure those aides come back to the public nursing homes, and I thank you from the bottom of our heart. Our employees, thank you. Most importantly, our patients, thank you. Thank you very much. In this day where economic development is the buzzword, this is a $20 million project with 200 employees that cost zero tax dollars. How about that for a plan? <laughs> this project was made possible by the strong fiscal management and a lot of change. And I, know, and I talked about the change of the employees, but it's hard to change. But without the spirit and the positive attitude of our employees, I gotta say it again, and our fiscal people like Lori Staves and Dave Geertsen and, and, and the rest of the team, this wouldn't have happened. But the secret to our success, one of the secrets of our success, is when we were looking for a nursing home director, we didn't interview, we didn't throw out a, a search and screen. <laughs> I had hunted. <laughs> I got to know Fran pretty good. Bob knew Fran pretty good. <clears throat> Finally, Fran came to work for us. That was the next piece, the piece we really needed to complete the vision, to turn us fiscally around, to make today possible. Fran Petra, you said, if I'm coming to work for you and I turn it around, we're going to build a new building. Here you go, Fran. <laughs> We get all done with talking about her coming here, all the salary, all the things, and she goes, we got a deal. Oh yeah, my dog comes with. <laughs> what do you say at that point? <laughs> so, I miss some people here, I'm sure. I think uh, I mentioned Lori State, Mike Harrigan from Ellers and Associates. I don't know if Mike made it down or not. They were key, along with our finance director, Dave Geertsen, of making sure these numbers, and we double-checked them, and triple-checked them, blindside-checked them, to make sure this was turning around. And uh, again, the finance were the metrics that how drove us here today. The employees bought in on that, and that's why we're here today. As a result of all that, we have a project that we're gonna break ground on today, and uh, 
We guarantee it'll be around for the next generation and probably the generation after that. And uh, I want to thank you all for being here today. I couldn't be happier. I'm probably missing someone and I apologize if I am. Ray, we covered you and, um, <laughs> you know, having a local construction firm and some of the, and one of the best in working on nursing homes from our region. Um, we got the, we got the A team in on this one. And uh, we're gonna go break some ground. I wanna thank you all for being here today and supporting Kenosha's best loved nursing home. Uh, I know we can look forward to the completed project and a robust future here at Brookside Care Center. And uh, with that, I'm gonna give it back to Fran, but thank you all for coming today. Really <laughs> working with the Camozzi group. Um, I mean, I don't feel bad, Andrew, and, and stuff, but the Camozzi guys are a lot of fun, too. And I also just got to meet Trisha Camozzi. She's been helping put this groundbreaking together. Um, and we've, we've, I think we really have a good team. So thank you so much. It's nice to work with you. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go outside and do some pictures of us with shovels and hard hats. And if you'd like to watch that, you can um, follow us down the hall. But if not, if you don't want to go out in the 39 degree weather, uh, that's fine. You can stay and, and enjoy the stay and enjoy the appetizers and, and foods that our um, fantastic dietary staff put out for us. So thank you all very much for coming. And like um, the county executive said, it's a great day in Kenosha County.